Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're a subscriber, I really appreciate it. I'm just doing a quick update on my rose petal wine. I had heard, um, I had read this article about these sisters who have a winery, but they don't use grapes. They use flowers. All their wines are based in flowers. And I thought, okay, well, I have a lot of roses on the property. I wonder if I could do a wine from the rose petals. And sure enough, in ancient times, especially in India, they used rose petals to ferment and make wine. And I was really excited by this. So I cut all my rose petals, I rinsed them really well, and kind of followed the recipe. And this is what I learned. The one thing that was very different from using fruit, grapes, pears, apples, etc., was at one point, even though I knew I had plenty of sugar and plenty of active yeast in my fermentor, the, uh, it wasn't gassing, so it wasn't doing this. And I, I was like really feeling really suspicious, like did I put enough sugar, did the yeast die? Like I couldn't figure out why it wasn't doing this. So when I opened the lid and looked inside, um, everything, all the rose petals and the dried mulberries had risen to the top of the fermenter. And, and I was like, I, I wonder if that's normal or I wonder if that's preventing the gas from escaping. See how it's done this again here? It's like building back up. Listen. It's sizzling away. It's so exciting. Fermentation. Um, but what happened, it builds, oh, the smell. There's this beautiful wine, like alcohol wine smell. Oh, it's exciting. Sorry, getting distracted. But what it happened was it created a barrier that the gas couldn't escape. And it was, is my instinct was to take a perforated serving spoon and take as much of it out as I could. And I did, and then it started gassing again. So if you attempt to do this, if you attempt to make a wine from flower petals, remember that you may run into the same situation. And once or twice a day, you will have to remove all that uh, sediment and the organic material that rises to the top of your fermenter. Um, I waited a week before I did this just so I had plenty of rose flavor and, and the content from the rose petals and the dried mulberries that I use. Traditionally, they use currants, but I didn't have accent, access to currants, but I did have dried mulberries. Um, the other thing I'm excited about for some reason, this batch of wine doing this is that it's going to make a much cleaner and clearer wine, I feel, because every day all that organic material is floating up to the top and I'm having the opportunity to scoop most of it out. So that means there's going to be less uh, sediment to have to strain or to float to the bottom of the wine once I bottle it. So at this point, I'm just going to wait for that yeast to use, you know, to, to use up all of the sugar. And I'll know when that happens because it'll stop gassing. And then I have two choices. I'll taste it and depending on its flavor, I'll either go just put it in bottles and keep it as a straight wine, or I'll put a little bit of sugar in each bottle, add the wine and make cider, a type of, uh, like a Lambrusco style, like a nice bubbly wine. If you wanna see the color of this, and you'll have to excuse me if my vocabulary, wine vocabulary is a bit primitive. Ah! <laughs> but look at the color. It's a really good color already. You can see some of that still, there's still a lot of sediment though but I'm happy with the color and it's definitely fermenting like crazy. A bit cloudy, but that will clear up as I remove more and more of the sediment. All right, it's a, it's a, I tasted it and it actually tastes very similar to, to a, a little more fruity of a rosé. 
it's a very mild wine. It, of course, it's not very full-bodied. It doesn't have a heavy tannin quality to it, like a Cabernet Sauvignon, because it's a it's a very simple wine, and uh, but it'll be really good for summer and probably really good with seafood because a light wine is more similar to a, you know, like a rosé or a white wine usually goes better with seafood. Okay, that's it. Bye.